Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a fall makeup look. So I'm going to be using doing a really dark lip and some really like glowy skin and a really really nude plain matte eyeshadow. Um, so I've already applied my base. So the bases that I used were the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation and the Zooey Certified Liquid Foundation. Um, I mix them together because they're both a kind of moussey consistency. This one's a little bit light for me and this one's a little bit dark for me. So I mix them together um, and I have them in Fair and Fair. So that's that. I've also applied my concealer. I just used the NARS like, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the colour Custard and that's just my face colour. Um, and that's it. That's all I've done so far. So next I'm going to go in with a highlight. I'm going to use the Josie Moran Argan Illuminator and I'm going to pop that on the tops of my cheekbones, down the tip of my nose, cupid bow and chin. This is a very, very thick, creamy highlighter, so I find that with it you have to warm it up a bit. And um, so you just have to warm it up quite a bit and put it on the tops of your cheekbones with your fingers. I find that using a brush with this product would be way too heavy handed because it is such a thick product. In my last get ready with me tutorial I used this on my eyes because it is a really thick creamy colour um, that has to be blended down so I found using it as an eyeshadow worked really really well and it just gave me this beautiful luminous eyes all day. Next I'm going to try and go in with a uh, liquid creamy type blush. So I'm going to use the, again, Josie Moran Colour Stick in Spice. This is a beautiful colour, but it gives a really nice flush. And like I said, I'm going for a really glowy look today. So I want more cream products for a natural type of glow. And this colour is literally like the perfect pinky Marvy flush colour. And I'm just blending it out with my Real Technique stippling brush. And because I have a rounder face, I blend it back instead of forward just to elongate the face. As you guys can see, it is a beautiful colour though. But it does blend out really well so if you over apply just blend just keep blending you guys can do this with any cream blush that you like I've heard the benefit ones are really nice um, but this is just the one that I have at the moment so okay. next I'm going to contour and I'm going to use my Maybelline uh, color tattoo in tough as taupe And I'm going to use this on my Sigma F86 tapered brush. Um, I have a whole video on my favourite contouring products um, a couple videos ago. I'll leave it linked below. But if you guys haven't seen that video, um, this will be a quick demonstration. Okay, uh, so next I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Colour Tattoo again, but this time in Just Beige. And I'm going to use this 
nude colour all over my eyelids as a base. Make sure with these kind of bases you take them up to the brow bone and if you want to put a colour underneath the eye, kind of pat it underneath as well. I'm going to be doing a really simple eye look with a little pop of colour today. Like so. Okay. Next I am going to take my Stila In The No palette. It's the blue one. It has all of these absolutely gorgeous shades. As you can see, this is probably my favourite because it is a matte highlight, but I like them all. So I'm going to take this shade here um, into my crease. That shade is called Rain. That's just in my crease, just to kind of give my eyes a bit of definition. Next, I'm going to go in with just a flat powder brush. I'm going to go in with Desert, which is this shade here. And that's just going to go all over my lid. And then I'm going to go in with Air, which is this one. I want to go right in the inner corner and up onto the brow bone. Like I said, a very simple matte look with a pop of colour which is coming, guys. Now this colour is only one or two shades lighter than my natural skin tone, so it is a really good natural looking highlight. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner in 009 Green. Um, and I'm going to get this, but instead of drawing this straight on the eye, I'm going to take it onto a angled brush. Just a little angled brush. Um, and I'm going to put it on there. Because this is a very, very creamy type pencil. And so I don't need to draw it on. It would just give me too much. So I'm just taking it and I'm just running it like this. Until I can see that the end has got some green on it. And then I'm going to take this underneath the eye. And smudge it along the lower lash line. Now you guys can do this with any colour that you like. I have green eyes, so green just happens to suit me the best. And repeat it on the other side. We are going to be using eyeliner on the top one as well, but just a really nude brown kind of colour. Like so. that so it's just a little pop of color so anyone who's walking past kind of looks like you're just wearing a little bit of eyeliner but anyone who's looking up close look uh, close enough can see that it is a color that is not as normal next I'm just going to take a standard brown eyeliner you guys can take any one that is your favorite this is just the one I'm going to use this is a brown one from NARS the larger than life long wear eyeliner um, I'm not sure what the colour of these are. I think the colours on like the packaging that you take off. 
So it is just a really nice rich brown. I'm going to smudge that along the top line. But right into the lash line. To give the illusion of thicker lashes. And then before it sets, I'm going to take a pencil brush and just, actually even just a little flat brush and just smudge it out a little bit. So I've just filled in my eyebrows and popped on, I just did my mascara. Um, I'll leave all the products that I used down below, but you guys have probably seen me do this a hundred times. But now I'm going to do the fun part, so which is the lips. So for the lips, I'm going to be using an OCC lip tie. You won't be able to see the writing, um, so I'll show you the packet. I bought this when I was in the US, and it is a like all-stars packet. So it has four colors, and I'm going to be using the darkest white, which is called Black Delilah. This is a beautiful purpley type colour. It is perfect for fall. Um, and I'm just going to be using that on a teeny tiny little Ego Tools brush. Because I have misplaced my lip brush. So I'm just going to be taking a very, very tiny amount. These are very pigmented. So just on the back of the container, which you have just wiped down, I'm going to be popping just one little dot. Not even a full dot, a teeny tiny little dot, because you do not need a lot of this product. Now, I don't recommend doing this with your fingers because it will get everywhere. Use a brush. Uh, popping that on my brush, as you can see, it is a very dark color. And smile. Smiling helps your lips to spread out, so it helps you distribute the color. Now that is one layer of this colour, which I will actually blot before I'm finished so that it sets and it will last all day. But that is one layer. You can go in, like I shall, with a second layer to deepen it up. So this colour starts out at a light kind of hurtle and can end up basically black. And I can show you, this is how much left. So I have barely used that dot, and look how bright this colour is. But this is the finished look. I'm not going to use any more colour. I just don't think I need it. This is plenty. And this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys liked this video. Please leave, uh, subscribe, leave any comments down below for any videos that you would like. If you guys want a more spring tutorial using one of the lighter colours in the lip tar packets or even like an old Hollywood or a nighttime look, just leave me a comment. Let me know, see if you guys would like that. I might do it for you. I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend um, and I will see you in two days' time.